boys and girls, welcome to Iron Horse Weekly, episode number five. Got a few nice bits lined up for you this week, but the first one I'm going to show you has got these, these nice little railings from, uh, I think it's Pico. Is it Pico? Minecraft or something like that? I don't know. In fact, I've got the package in there on a second. Where are we? There you go, model scene, there you go. Yeah, not bad at all. Just over a four quid. But I've uh, put a few out. Just testing locations for them. Well, obviously, they're going to be painting. But when they do, I think they look pretty good. So back back over on this new development area. The back scene has been moved around. That isn't fitted in place. That is going. That is going to be replaced with a new one. Um, one that isn't quite as kinky. I'm going to try and get it nice and smooth. This is now going to be a Asheville aggregates inspired area. So we've got a little bit of hard standing there, which need to finish off weathering, and the sun is right on it. There you go. Need to finish weathering that. That's just your card and one of you. Not looking too bad at the minute. I right, so just need to get a bit more weathering on there. Need to start the lay of the land, if you will. A few containers over there. So the yard will be split into two. You'll have a rail yard on this side, in which wagons can come. And the house standing fill up at the cement silo there, which will be dropped off from the cement train. You'll also have aggregates being delivered. From them, which can be loaded from those, so I need to get a better offloader because that is it's too small. It's 187 HO, I think, so it's not quite the right scale, even though it's pretty. So I need to get a bigger one for that to make it more realistic. <laughs> those aren't staying, obviously. I need to find, find some sort of silo kit or somewhere and make those look a bit more pretty. So I can make the unloading process look a bit better. Hopefully have a few material bays there. Then we can have wagons coming in. Obviously proper wagons, not not those. I need proper cement wagons and whatever. They can come in. A lot up there. Come over there. Um, this is very similar to how things are done at the real Asheville. As well as a few other aggregate firms and cement firms, they often have the yard split over the track so that is good happy with that this fence keeps falling down because I've not stuck it in place yet but you get the idea that's always going to be fenced off hopefully it's going to start looking good start doing a little bit of weather into some of the uh, containers too they're looking really nice but the main mission for today is going to be weathering some more of these Let's have a look. So I've missed the parcel from delivery and they've said I can collect it from here <coughs> at 11 a.m. It's meant to be a railway related stuff so hopefully they do actually open at 11. There's no signs of life so we'll see what happens. It's Preston Station over there. You've got something parked in the res platform. Not sure what it's up to. Little network rail depot there. Yeah. Nothing moving at the minute though. Hopefully something will whiz past and I can catch it. Well, they were open, bit of a queue forming line, but there we are. 
parcel safely in hand. Let's get that on here. Awesome. Right, let's go to a monorail warfare. We finally arrived at Carlton Station Open Day. Let's go have a look and see what trouble we can get ourselves into. Speak to Carlton models. Oh, the chap's waving, look at that. Yeah. She's still waving, oh, she's painting with it. Oh, is it? oh okay, painting with yeah, it. Painting with it. Painting with it. Little Ingle look, is it, yeah? Yeah, little Ingle yeah, yeah. Lovely. Five wagons, five, three, three. That's me. And it's a tight fit between there. Can you just say, look at that, there's just enough room. For, for three there. Yeah. Each side of that's three. Absolutely. Let the kids choose five cards and the way they go. Absolutely. That's brilliant. I like the, uh, the hard standing area there. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. The cool, cool washer plants built off, uh, off plans, same as the Trestle Bridge. Spot on that. Give me something to put on my YouTube channel later on. Eighty-five. What is this? H to N, is it? Uh, Scale, is it? Sorry. Double O nine. Double O nine. Absolutely. All the buildings, all the buildings, just scrap the bills from plastic card, what have you. We're a total of 30 grain of wheat bulbs that we found so far. How many? 30. 30? Yeah. On it, yeah. yeah. All the locals are 3D prints. Really? That's interesting. And they're all on Kato chassis. They're all Kato, yeah. There's a lot going on in there for such a small layout. Fantastic. What we should have is in the back, in the passing loop, which yeah. kicks this lot in, changes the point, changes the, the polarity, and the one on the other side goes out of that. Clever. All DC, is it? DC, yeah. DC, yeah. Brilliant. Um, I don't see any use for DCs on the layout on this side. I get what you're saying. Z gauge. That's superb. Look at that. European, is it, I'm assuming? Oh, Japanese. Japanese? Japanese. Uh, Hokkaido, the Northern Ireland. I should have seen from your church, <laughs> shouldn't I? Excellent, yeah. Um, 
And Hokkaido was a lot stronger on the Japanese steam. They had steam for about 73, 74. Wow. Right. So we've got a whole... Oh, I see. So you've got the extras over there, haven't you? have got a whole set of... Ah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's fantastic. Yeah. And now, when it's extracted, we need the cram deck over the back. We've got the full yeah. steam. Yeah. Heritage shed, railway thing on. Or a full shed thing, yeah. yeah. That's lovely. Oh, yeah. But it, it, it shall... I mean, this is like the smallest practical one railway scale. Is that T scale, which is even smaller? Mm. You never see that really like this. No, absolutely. That's yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Look at that. And, and it's a fastest growing scale yeah. in Japan because their houses are practically even tiny. Yeah. They're almost getting too small for English. So they're only in a lot of it feel. That's lovely. Well, I think we've all guilty of that, aren't we, really? <laughs> I was just saying to the chat before, uh, the shortage of these little sort of caricature ones, which the Japanese are quite mad on. So basically, that, that's the shorty version of the one that's running around on the television. Right. We've just brought out the Hello Kitty Shin Kansen in a short lot. Well, this bit's not finished. Yeah, but it's like a fit, yeah. come fiddly yeah. out into it as well. Three years ago. And they're waiting for this side to get finished, and they're running a separate article. Excellent. Very, very good. Look at all the features as you come to them in detail. So, what's the first big feature you've got? The bridge. Have a good look at the bridge. I'm sure there's a few choice ones, absolutely. Engaged. This is why I like magnetic couplings because they just pop off and you can get somewhere else on straight away. I must admit I've got into magnetic couplings, but I like the um, book I Yeah. It'd be our blue yes. one, yeah, that's superb. It 
it runs like a dream. Hey, I can see that, look at that. That's amazing. I like how they've done this sound file. Yeah, yeah. Excellent. Good news from Rapido this week, with the announcement that their What If GWR Green 15XX has received sufficient interest to begin production. Rapido say that if you expressed interest earlier, you will now have an option to make an order. Acura Scales Children's are now back in stock and inbound. They are now at the docks and will be ready for distribution soon. Revolution Trains have received decorated samples of their upcoming Class 59 in N-Gage which will be on display at this year's Engage show in September. The East Lancashire Railway has announced that their Autumn Diesel Gala tickets are now on sale and will be announcing on their Facebook page in the coming days and weeks which locals will be attending. And finally, Dapol's latest run of Class 68, although a lovely looking locomotive, has sadly suffered some quality control issues. It would appear that the grab rails for the windows are not actually fitted to the locomotive and neither are the holes in which they are supposed to slot. Dapol has said that modellers can return their models for a free fitting service. Um, it will take a couple of weeks, but one particular modeller, uh, John Bartley of Harrow Road, has taken matters into his own hands. As you can see here, John has carefully made the necessary modifications to the body shell in order to fit some spare parts supplied by DCC Concepts. Whilst not overly complicated, some lesser experienced models might find this a bit intimidating. However, as you can clearly see, I think you will agree, the results look absolutely fantastic. So well done there, John. Great effort, mate. And it looks brilliant. Right, people. That's everything for this week's uh, Iron Horse Weekly. Hope you enjoyed it. It was nice getting out to a model railway show for a change. We have a little bit of progress on the uh, Asheville Aggregates inspired yard. We've got some little, uh, some more detail in there on the side. We've got some wagons from the railway exhibition. Really happy with these scanniers there. I paid £10 each of those as opposed to 25 quid, brand new. So really pleased with those. A little bit of weathering on them. And I think they'll look absolutely superb. Yeah, it's very good. This is just a rough layout of what's going on the toilet rolls aren't staying there they'll be moved away and replaced with something a bit more efficient so i'm trying to base this roughly on the Asheville aggregates yard aggregates aggregates yard um hopefully i can make a few changes to adapt it to the space that i've got here anyway folks that is everything for this week's uh, i weekly so thanks for watching i'll see you all soon cheers now